Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yes, this is dealing with paper route artist whom is Big Moochie Grape. The folks, the people want to know why. Again, I had some people DM me. Let me know, hey, you may want to look into Big Moochie Great. I asked him why. He said because he was one of the artists that Young Dolph had a text to let him know his whereabouts because Big Moochie Great was the next artist to be promoted out of Paper Route, alright? But, you know, as always, we want to pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Paper Route Empire. And much love to all my folks out there in Dolph Land. Let's get back to the story at hand. Okay. Like I just told you guys. Again, you see the thumbnail? You guys read the title? Yes. They saying that Paper Route artist Big Moochie Great was the one who had dropped um, Young Dolph location off to one of his um, assistants who had supposedly helped send Young Dolph up. Again, this is allegedly. But again, I did have some folks out there hit me up. Let me know. Hey, man, talk about it. You may want to look into it. Because it had to be. We know. But they was even saying themselves. That it had to be somebody close to Young Dolph. Because he only let a certain amount of people know his whereabouts. And again, one of those artists was Big Moochie Great. And the other one was... Snoop Benz, okay? They even admitted to talking to Young Dolph once he got off the airplane himself to let them know his locations. Now, um, Paper Route artist Snoop Benz did say that, hey, Young Dolph had hit him up, but he, he wasn't by the phone at the time. He was busy. I think he said getting his hair cut. He didn't hear it. He didn't answer it. But the next time he called, he hung up, he tried to call right back, nothing happened. Then about 30 minutes to an hour later, he overheard that, you know what I'm saying? Young Dolph has supposedly got sent up, man. And again, this, re this is the reason why it's the folks, the people that's telling me, again, that, that want justice for Young Dolph and for his family. You know what I'm saying? That, hey, look into the people that was really close to him that they knew his next moves because how can somebody trap you in if they don't know your whereabouts how can any in, how can somebody create a plan if they don't have an inside man that knows your next move and these are the things that people are questioning and trying to understand that hey I thought it was a loyalty a deep loyalty over there in the paper route camp. Now, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And again, like I'm telling you guys, I'm a fan. And I and I got I'm a supporter, like for real, real. Of years. So when I heard it, the art automatically thought no artist, no paper route artist had anything to do with this. Of course, you know my thoughts, the ones his ops that we know that he had so-called a back and forth with a discontent with i don't really have to say the name here i said it before not only that there was an alleged shooter that's part of the young Dolph whole situation whom is og bang wang like i told y'all the last video whom they had they caught up with to bring him in the question based around the whole young Dolph situation because like i just told y'all that boy, they know he's really a shooter out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, check his IGs and all that. Like, he letting you know. And again, this is what the people was telling me. I'm just basically giving a story to what the people who, who want justice for Young Dolph, they want me to send a message out there to, again, it had to be somebody close to him that knew his next move because he only let a certain amount of people know what he was going to do next. And again at the same time. This is the reason why they saying that. Hey he didn't even pull up. In that camo joint that people think he pulled up in. He was in a white range. 
See, the camo joint was for the video shoot that was supposed to be been part of what, what he had set up for Big Moochie Great. Because again, he was the next artist to come out of the paper route. Because it was, um, you got Key Glock first, did his thing. Then he went on a roll, you know, with um, Kenny Money. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we seen how Snoop Bands and um, Paper Route Wu, they was doing their thing, dropping videos, this and that. And then, you know, uh, Big Moochie Grape, he was doing singles. So, um, Young Dolph, his, his plan was, I'm going to put out fan from AB. Let's see how he move out there. Put the hood on. Because y'all got to understand that mostly everybody that Young Dolph was basically putting on was from South Memphis, but from different hoods. You know what I'm saying? That most likely came different sets. You know what I'm saying? Just really pay attention. And again, what I, I'm reason why I'm saying that because Young Dolph was spreading the love. You know what I'm saying? He did not um, show any dislike based on what hood you from or what set you what was down with. It was based on your worth ethic and what you was gonna do to help elevate Pepper Route to the next level. Cause again, he was a businessman, so he gonna test he gonna test your temperature to see like. If you a good uh, artist, like you say you are, if you send them some information, you you know what I'm saying, basically trying to get on with the camp, you got to let it show like on first notice, on first call, you know what I'm saying? Because again, he not about wasting time. Understand what I just said? He not about wasting time. So with that being said, only a certain amount of people are really going to know where Young Dolph next moves is going to be at. And again, we know that Paper Route uh, artists, Snoop Bands, and Big Moochie Grape stated themselves that Young Dolph had hit them, hit them up because he had some things in plan that he wanted them to do. You know what I'm saying? Because he was pushing them out next. He seen Key Glock was on a roll. He, Key Glock didn't need his like promotion. He didn't need, you know what I'm saying, Young Dolph to, be, to put him out as an artist no more. Like Key Glock could do that on his own. But, and then his next move was again, Kenny Money. Now, Kenny Money out there in Memphis, he was doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? So, he knew even when Young Dolph promoted him, you know what I'm saying? On one of them shows, I forgot what it is, it's going to hit my mind later on. When Young Dolph had promoted him, you know what I'm saying? And said, yeah, I'm promoting my next artist, Kenny Money. Like, right there. Kenny Money, he just like, it just goes to show. Kitty Money worth ethic didn't really need Young Dolph right by his side just to shout him out. And bam, everybody was looking to Kenny Money joint to see what he was gonna put out. And yeah, Kenny Money, he's a hot artist on paper route. The boy got bars, like he do his thing over there on that camp, and much love to them guys over there. But yeah, but this still goes back into how the folks is telling me that, hey man, what are them guys that he had a uh, text to let him know, let them know? That he needed them for a video shoot, a promo run, whatever it may be. Hey, man, they may have dropped the location. And that person is allegedly Big Moochie Great. Now, I'm, the reason why I'm saying allegedly because it's all in question. I told y'all before, one of the guys that had a back and forth shootout with Big Moochie Great, who's the OG Bang Wayne, the people just picked him up a couple days ago. You know what I'm saying? They're going to bring him in for question to see his involvement to, hey, uh, yo, guy the CMG, Black Youngster Heavy Camp, any, any of those guys over there. And not only that, we do have the bond hearing, the second one, I believe so, um, that will be coming up soon. So people just pay attention to that. I think that's some around July 1st, you know what I'm saying? So again, people pay attention to that because that was going that's going to let you know that's going to tell you guys if somebody get a bond, I don't think they are because again, this is a high profile case and they don't want to put somebody out there as uh, being a pro a possibility of being a flight risk. So I don't think that's going to happen. But again, that's the reason why I'm doing this video. I had some folks tell me, "Hey man, look into the paper out artist big Moochie great because Young Dolph had contacted him to let them know, hey, get ready. We got some business moves to make while I just landed. You know what I'm saying? Finna come scoop you up real quick, so get ready. You know what I'm saying? But before I do that, I'm about to stop by 
Makita's, hey, and grab some of my chocolate chip monster cookies. But as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.